think they will. Let me do it. Okay. Well, I just gotta do it like this then. Okay, everybody. Hi, how are you? Um, today I am doing a review on the Burger King. Uh, what's the name of the sandwich? What is it? Quarter, double quarter pound. I don't even know the name of it. Double quarter pound something or rather. I don't know the name of it. And I left my receipt in the car, so I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I've seen several reviews on it. Um, so I said I want to try it. So here's my take on it. Okay, first of all, this is what it looks like. It's just a simple double cheeseburger with no condiments but lettuce well no no lettuce um it has mustard ketchup and onion um i and it had pickles on it i had them remove my pickles it has two slices of cheese and they just left the leather the um onions ketchup and mustard on my and i also asked for extra onions because i like onions um it's a double patty, as you can see. Got the cheese on the in between here. Okay, it's pretty warm and hot. They made it fresh. We have a lot of cheese on it for you cheese lovers. This is what it's like on the other end. Okay. So this is supposed to be a double quarter pound. So in other words, this is a half a pound hamburger, basically. Uh, it's a lot of burger. It's heavy. It is heavy. And um, my take on it is it may be better than McDonald's because the other day I went to McDonald's and they I noticed that they had the Grand Mac. The Grand Mac, the Big Mac, and the Junior Mac. They had those back. And... <laughs> I like the Grand Mac, so I went and got the Grand Mac, and I should have did a review on that because I didn't like it. It seemed like when they brought it back for the second time, this time, the patties are so much smaller. Like, so the patty was like, if this was the, the, the thing, the patty was like this, the beef patty was like that, so it was so much smaller, and I didn't really care for that. Um, but it tastes the same and everything. Um, but this right here looks like a very hearty and health hefty burger so if you are in the mood in the you know want some some umph this looks like this is what you would get because this is very umphy like let me just try to give you a, a, like this is my hand and this is the burger i don't know if this is a good but it's hearty and hefty it's a big big burger uh, well, I forgot how much it cost me. It was like, with taxes and taxes and stuff, probably what, $6 or something. Um, this is all I got. So, I am going to take a bite into it. Of course, you know, Burger King is known for the flame grilled burgers. The flame grilled taste that a, a lot of other restaurants do not offer. So... We're going to see what it is talking about. Okay. All right. So, let's see how I'm going to do this with one hand. It's a heavy burger. Okay. Yeah. All right. So off the bat, <coughs> taste the patty. Cause there's a lot of meat on it. Then you place the signature that Burger King is known for. With the flame grill taste, a grill taste. It's not bad. I think it's good. 
I like it. Let me hold the camera right first. Forgive me. Yeah, I'm trying to do it with one hand. But I like it because I don't like a lot of kind of, when I, when I go to um, restaurants, um, I like more meat than condiments on my burger. So like the tomato and lettuce and pickles and all that stuff to kind of, sometimes it can kind of be more than the burger and it can drown out the taste of the burger itself, which I don't like that. Um, I usually like just, I usually like pickles, cheese, you know, shit like that. <clears throat> I mean, not pickles. I don't like pickles on my burger. I do not like pickles on my burger. And I always have them remove the pickles. Um, I like onions. So I had them double up on onions. I like onions on my burger. And this burger does not, it doesn't overdo. The condiments are not overdone. So you don't get a whole bunch of lettuce and a whole bunch of um, tomatoes and all this shit to, to drown it out. I'm going to do one more bite. I'm going to give another rating. Let me see here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of burger I like. To me, you taste the burger itself, and that's what I like. Um, I think if I were to do anything to it, I would probably have them add more cheese because I like cheese. Um, of course, pickles. I mean, not pickles. Um, onions, which I already didn't have bad onions, but I guess they didn't add enough for me. <clears throat> and let me see what else would I do. I don't think I would do anything else to it. If anything, I would probably have them add bacon, but I'm not a real big bacon fan on my burgers. Uh, especially from Burger King. But for a person who does like bacon, I think bacon would be a good addition to this burger. Um, On a scale from 1 to 10, I would probably give it, for my taste, I would probably give it a... Uh, from 1 to 10, I would probably give it a... A 7 or a seven and a half or eight a seven seven and a half on a good day when the person who makes it really makes it i give them an eight it's pretty it's good but and i'll probably be like if i put extra cheese on it extra onions like they would have to put a lot of onions on it for me because i like onions like that and um no pickles and if that person whoever makes it just really makes it it you know, good, and it's like really piping hot and fresh, and it's just made just right. It'd be like an eight, eight and a half, and nine. But <clears throat> the way it's made now, I give it a seven, a seven or a seven and a half. I give it a seven. Um, yeah, I would give it a seven. But um, would I go back and get this? Now I'm gonna tell you, I gave it a seven right now, and it has the potential to be an eight and an eight or a nine. But when I go back, intention and see, I don't go to Burger King often. But when I go back to Burger King to get this burger intentionally, yes, I would. It's that good to me because I like my burger simple, but it has just the right complexity for me. I don't like a lot of pickles and letters and all that shit added to it and this doesn't have it added to it by nat natural it just doesn't have it and i like that so what i go and it has uh i like the flame taste that burger king and um uh what's the other one uh burger king and dairy queen have so but i just don't go often you know because whatever you know but would I go back and get this? Yes, I would. It's good. I like it. It's good. 
it's very filling because it is a, it is a big burger. Um, I think it's bigger than it's like if any of y'all have ever tried the um, what was that burger that they had the farmhouse burger how big that burger was it's like that size but just made differently. Um, so it's big and I just ordered it by itself because it's a big burger and. I mean, if you can eat a whole meal of that, you're a bad boy. So I just ordered a burger because this is like, it's a lot of burger. I think, will you eat this burger and maybe you might drink some water or something after that? You'd be full of shit. So I wouldn't, you know, I ain't worried about the rest of the shit. <clears throat> but I get the scale from seven, seven and a half. And it has the potential to be at eight and a half or a nine. Yes, it does. So. That is my review of the double quarter pound, the double quarter pound burger, I believe that's what it's called, from Burger King. Yep. See, they ain't got no onions on that for me. I need some more onions. But it's good. They don't have a, enough onions as, as far as the ratio to meat goes. Because it's a lot of meat. And they don't have enough onions to close it. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Alright. <sighs> That's my review. And I will talk to you all later. I hope you have a good night.